Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous videos, we did the full integration of smartphone into our report. Now we will go for Adobe form or PDF form, then we will integrate that also into our report or program. So firstly, we will create a Adobe form or PDF form. We all know very well, whenever you want to create a PDF form or Adobe form, the first thing we should create a interface interface. Then we will use that interface into the Adobe form or PDF form because in case of Adobe form, we have two things. In interface, you are declaring and writing the logic. In form, you are only, only designing the layout. In case of smart form, everything is together. Your declaration, your logic, your designing of windows, everything is together. But in case of Adobe form or PDF form, we have two things. In interface, we will declare, we will write the logic and layout designing is in the form. So firstly, I will go to SFP transaction code and we will create an interface of the Adobe form. We all know that we have to go to SFP transaction code to create a PDF form or Adobe form. So firstly, we will create a interface. Now I will see the Excel, what is the naming conventions to create a interface? ZIF underscore relevant name. So I will give some name to the interface. Suppose I will say ZIF underscore sales order. I will go to create. I will give the short description to the interface. Suppose I am saying interface for sales order. I will take a back dictionary based interface. I will go for save. Do not save as a local object save into your package and in your transport request. Now I will go for activation of the interface. Same to same process which we followed in smart form. Now we need to follow here. If you see in case of smart form, if I will go to the smart form, in the smart form, we took four import parameters in the form interface. ER dat low high ER num LT underscore output. Same thing are applicable for Adobe form and PDF form also because we are just displaying the output rather than in smart form. Now we are going for PDF form. Same to same values from the program. Now it will pass to the Adobe form or PDF form. It means we need to take these four input parameters also in the interface of Adobe form. Because in case of Adobe form, in interface, we will go for declaration and logic designing will be separately separately. So same, I will go to form interface import. We all know whenever we want to give input, we will always, always make use of form interface. I will click on to create button. I will go for append. Four times I will go to append. Now I will simply, simply copy paste from the smart form itself. We will copy paste. This is our first parameter. I'll just wait. System is slow. 
this is our first parameter type i will write er dat i will go to second parameter per dat underscore high type er dat now i will go to third parameter yes from the program we will pass the values so in the adobe form interface we are taking it as import from the program it will export and in the interface of adobe form it will treat as import now i will take the type we already have a table type so i am using that i will check the syntax and i will activate the interface of the adobe form anyways there is no need to write the logic in smart form also we have not written any logic any logic because logic is already in the program itself so here also we will not write any logic at all now what we will do we will now go for creation of the adobe form or pdf form and in that pdf form we will use this particular interface so i will go for now creation of pdf form or adobe form i will see what is the naming convention zsfp underscore relevant name so i will give zsfp underscore sales or i will go to create button now you can see it is asking for the name of the interface which we created firstly i will give the description pdf form for sales order now i will pass the name of the interface which we created zif underscore sales order we'll go for save we'll save into the package and we will save into the transport request and i will now you can see we have the interface and here we have the adobe form this is your interface and this is your adobe form adobe form and whenever we now we want to use these things inside this adobe form so how we will do we'll simply drag and drop we will drop we will drop high we will drop er num because we want to display all these values so from the interface we will drop it to the adobe form now we will go for designing you can see designing is totally totally separate part now we all know whenever we want to design we need to click on to which button layout button so i will go for layout so i click on to the layout button i'll just wait it is taking time so yes now we will design the layout here now just see we were what is our layout we need to design this layout if you remember in case of smart form we created three windows for the three section first window second window third window in case of adobe form or pdf form 
rather than windows we will use that term what sub forms it means we will create three sub form one for this one for this and one for this so we will create three sub forms and then after that in the sub form we will go for the various things this part we will continue in the next video but what is the summary of the video in this video we started with the creation of pdf form or adobe form whenever you want to create a pdf form or adobe form the first thing you need to create a interface interface is for the declarations and to write the logic and same to same four parameters we took in the import of form interface because we all know how you can give input through form interface only then after that we created the adobe form or pdf form we simply drag and drop from the interface to the adobe form and we clicked on to the layout button and we decided that we will go for creation of three sub forms into our adobe form or pdf form in the next video we will start with the designing of this adobe form or pdf form so that's it in this video thank you